Have you ever felt lost in your life before? Like something just feels off, like you're misaligned, whether it's with your job or just the day-to-day -day routine that you go through. Have you ever felt that before? If you've ever experienced this before or you're experiencing this right now, this feeling of feeling lost or misaligned in your life, then you know. It's not a great feeling. In fact, it's actually one of my most dreaded feelings. However, whenever I feel this way in my life, I take it very seriously. And there's always a couple of things that I do to help myself get realigned and, and kind of find what feels right for me to be doing at this point in time in my life. So go ahead and watch this video for a few things that I do to get realigned in my life, to stop feeling lost in my life, because who knows, maybe they might work for you as well. Before I share the couple of things that I do each time I feel misaligned, if that's even a word, unaligned in my life, um, I'm going to say it's probably really helpful to know yourself. If you don't know who you are, what you stand for, kind of what you're wanting from your life, you should take the time to figure this out first. And of course, that's not easy. It's definitely not quick. It's quite a process. But if you know who you are and kind of what you're wanting out of life, it's super beneficial in helping yourself to realign and not only just in this specific topic. I mean, it's helpful to know who you are for many reasons, which I'm sure are obvious, not just when we're going to talk about today. The first thing that I tend to do when I'm feeling lost in my life is get down on my knees and pray. Now, I'm a religious person, so that makes sense to me. And if you're not religious, then substitute this one now or try it if this is your first time. I turn to God because I know he has a plan for me. I know he has a plan for all of us. And I know that he will help us through anything that we're struggling with in our life if we allow him to. And I don't expect him to tell me exactly what to do and when and how, although that would be pretty nice. I know that as I try to discern that prayerfully and patiently, and ultimately I do my part, he will then help me get to a place where I feel aligned and where I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be. I've experienced this feeling of feeling lost or feeling unaligned. I really don't know the right word, if it's unaligned or misaligned. I don't even know if either of those are a word, but feeling lost, I've experienced this time and time again in my life. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we're growing and changing and becoming a different person, hopefully a better person as life goes on, which means you're gonna feel you know, misaligned at times, which is why it's really helpful for me to turn to him to help me stay aligned with his will for me as well as not just my own. The next step that I always take afterward is new action because as you know, nothing's gonna change unless you do. So you have to take some sort of new action. If you keep doing the same thing that you're doing before and hoping for a different outcome, it's just most likely not going to happen. So I always take some sort of new action, whether it's a super bold action or a really small action. The fact that it's new action is what you should be striving for. And it could take years. It could take months. It could take weeks. I mean, it's just going to depend on the specific situation that you're in and maybe the season that you're in of your life. But taking new action, waiting it out patiently, like feeling it as I go and combining action step new with the first of praying, that combination has worked for me every single time without fail. And whenever I'm in the heat of it, I feel like my prayers aren't being answered. I feel like my action is worthless and I feel like I've tried everything. It's just not working. The patience and consistency and that feeling, you know, am I getting closer? Is this aligning? Is this not? Really being in tune with that. And then once you finally feel aligned again and you're not feeling lost and you can look back in hindsight, you can actually see how each little step, each time when you're in the heat of it feels like a prayer not answered is actually a necessary step for you to get to where you end up being in the end. It's kind of cool. Hindsight, such a beautiful thing. And that's pretty much it, shortened up in two to three simple steps that I do every single time I feel unaligned or I feel lost in my life. Both of those steps require patience, faith, trust, time, and desire to put in the work to get through this lost period of time that you're feeling because you want to get to the other side where you're feeling aligned and you're feeling good about what you're doing right now in your life. I did want to mention that this isn't usually a one-time thing. You're not going to have to just go through this process once in your life and feel aligned forever and always. I follow this process all the time and in many different areas of my life, but this specific area when I feel unaligned has proven to be one of the most important ones for me and one that this process 
and putting in that work and waiting out that time patiently has really proven to be worth it in the end. In fact, about exactly a year ago from now, I was working in a job where my whole body and my soul, my whole being literally rejected this job. Like it just was like, I knew I wasn't supposed to be there and I didn't know why because I should be grateful that I could be in that job. The people were awesome. The company was great. It was a great opportunity, but I couldn't ignore that feeling of this is not right. I felt so out of alignment with my life. It was ridiculous and it was so confusing because I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Just quit? Because everything inside me was like, quit, just quit, get out of here. And it didn't make sense because I didn't have a plan. But I followed that feeling and I, I ended up just quitting and going through this process that I just spelled out for you being like, okay, I did it. <laughs> That's what I was supposed to do. Now, like, what's next? What am I supposed to do? And through that process, a year ago from, a year ago from now, and seeing how things have played out over the last year to what I'm doing right now, it's incredible to look back and see how things have fall into place very slowly and turned out to be something you never would have expected. I mean, now I'm just working part-time in a field that was completely unrelated to what I've been doing for the past four years, completely unrelated. And I'm happy here. It gives me more time and more space to create on my channel, to redo my website, to create Inspired. I don't think I would have had the mental space or the physical time to keep that balance of, you know, enjoying my life and doing what I love day to day and it just wouldn't have worked if I would have taken that leap. So I'm grateful for it. And I know that if you're feeling unaligned in your life, if you, it doesn't have to be as bold as quitting your job and trying to figure it out, but if you take even small action, I know it'll be so worth it and just be patient and there is an end to this, I promise. So I hope this video was helpful for you and hopefully gave you some ideas of what you can do next time you feel unaligned or lost in your life. But you have to remember to be patient to be diligent and to put in the work because it's not going to happen on its own. Sending you so much love today and reminding you to put your phone down and to be present for the moments that truly matter. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time.